Okay. Today I want to talk about why scooter and skateboard is dangerous. I mean, I been to this campus for a year. I find there's quite a few accidents happen in this campus due to scooters and uh, skateboard. I want to explain physically why it's dangerous. Um, so for the scooter, you have a really slim, I mean, or really narrow standing place. And same for skateboard. So your, if you look from above to, to the to the ground, your feet is like this. So, and so your, if you look at the front, the human will look like that, right? So your 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 whole body is in a line. Um, so what will happen is if you if you go left and right, you're out of the balance really easily because the only the only part of your body can move out of the center is your torso, which is a really big mass. Like the 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 the, the, the so so you, 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 the torso is like almost half your of your body body mass. So if you change really violently, then you will just become go to this this um, go to instability. And then after a while, just after a while, just falling down. Unless you know some tricks, which is possible. But on the other hand, I'm just I'm not trying to advertise anything. But I'm just thinking in the, um, in the contrast, the bike, your feet, if you look from above to down, is on on the side like this. So you can there there's not your torso is same and fixed because you have, you you're sitting on your 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 sitting the torso is sitting on the you you are sitting on top of the seat so your torso is semi fixed but what what part of your body gonna change gonna change the center of mass is your is your outside the the arm and the leg which is not not nearly as heavy with the body weight. So it's a, the, the disturbance or the the weight redistribution is not as as violent as this. And also, as we all know, the the, the figure figure skater try to do the tuck thing so that they can they can spin faster. That's that's because this is larger has a larger angular momentum, a uh, larger moment inertia. This have a smaller moment inertia, so this position is easier for you to spin. I can demonstrate it, like good old physics experiment. I can only rotate a half. Hope I don't die here. See, I can rotate around five five hundred and forty five degrees. If I want to do even harder, I can. I don't want to die. So, so technically, you can you can rotate way faster, but. I don't. I'm not in the safe place to do so. My my point my point is, this have a big a smaller moment inertia, so you're more likely to spin and go to auto balance due to this. And also, moment the definition of hormone inertia, just for the sake of completeness. So you, you, the more spread out you are, you are less likely to rotate, which is almost common sense, right? So yeah, that's why, in my point of view, the, the reason why scooter and skateboard is more dangerous. Of course, there are some tricks that I, l I learned over time to see people done that. They use their feet out of, out of the center so that they can j just balance themselves. That will... That's a trick, but I don't know if that's gonna work too well because I never use scooter because of the physics behind it make me scared. But yeah.